the Netherlands has announced a new order for the 155mm data self-propelled howitzers to support Ukraine, reflecting a coordinated effort by the Netherlands, Denmark, and the Czech Republic to meet Ukraine's urgent defense needs. On October 17, 2024, the Dutch Ministry of Defense revealed the acquisition of six additional data howitzers following a previous delivery of nine systems during the summer. This partnership aims to bolster Ukraine's artillery capabilities amid the ongoing conflict with Russia, where artillery and ammunition shortages are among the most critical challenges. The data developed by the Czech company Excalibur Army is an advanced 155mm self-propelled howitzer based on the Dana, a system originally mounted on the reliable Tatra truck chassis. Designed to use NATO standard ammunition, the DTAS main gun has a firing range of up to 39 km, allowing it to engage targets from a distance with high precision. One of the DTAS standout features is its high level of automation. Operable by just two crew members, a driver and a commander, the Howitzer's automatic systems handle tasks ranging from targeting to ammunition management, while also enabling rapid deployment and withdrawal. In the event of system failures, the DTAS design includes manual operation capabilities, offering a mechanical backup site for aiming. With a firing rate of 6 rounds per minute, the DTA is both efficient and powerful. Its onboard integrated control system handles navigation, gun guidance, and ammunition management. The control is facilitated through an M4 panel, a portable device that allows operators flexibility, even from outside the vehicle. Furthermore, its superstructure featuring Stanak 4569 Level 1 protection shields operators from small arms fire and shrapnel, underscoring the details design for hostile environments. The DTAS Tatra based chassis ensures exceptional mobility across diverse trains. It can reach a top speed of 90 km per hour on road and 25 km per hour off road, while its 600 km operational range enables it to participate in long missions with minimal refueling. This mobility allows it to keep up with mechanized units reposition rapidly and avoid counter battery fire, which is crucial in high tempo battlefield conditions. Since Russia's invasion in 2022, Ukraine has significantly expanded its artillery capabilities, supported by international allies like the Netherlands. This summer's delivery of the initial nine data units marked one of the first significant deployments of this howitzer in an active conflict zone. The data has thus far been deployed in various regions of Ukraine, where it has engaged in counter-battery missions and provided support for infantry and mechanized units. Its long-range fire capabilities have proven valuable for targeting Russian artillery positions command centers and fortified positions as Ukraine strives to defend against Russian advances and regain occupied territories. The details design addresses key demands of modern warfare, particularly the need for fast, accurate and flexible artillery systems. The intense nature of artillery exchanges in Ukraine underscores the importance of precision strikes and rapid repositioning. 
The data's ability to fire and scoot quickly reduces exposure to enemy counter-battery fire, an advantage that has likely safe equipment and lives on the Ukrainian front. The fully automated firing and control systems also enable Ukraine to maximize its manpower by reducing the number of crew needed. This feature is particularly valuable in protracted conflicts where trained personnel are often in short supply. Moreover, the detailed compatibility with NATO standard 155mm ammunition makes it easier to integrate into Ukraine's diverse arsenal of artillery systems and simplifies logistics given the extensive use of 155mm shells among NATO member nations. The data has gained traction in Ukraine, but its performance and versatility in this conflict may attract further interest from other countries seeking reliable and advanced anti-rory solutions. With Excalibur Army's strong reputation and track record in military technology, other Eastern European nations and NATO members could view the DTA as a cost-effective alternative for upgrading artillery capabilities, particularly as the work to meet NATO's ammunition and weapon standardization requirements. Looking forward, the DTA is poised to play a significant role in Ukraine's ongoing defensive strategy, especially given the continued support from NATO allies. As Ukraine continues to operate these howitzers, it is likely that Excalibur Army will receive feedback that could inform future upgrades to the data, potentially enhancing its performance, resilience, and versatility based on real-world combat experience. The DTAS deployment is also emblematic of larger NATO shift towards providing Ukraine with advanced, standardized equipment. The Netherlands' broader commitment to Ukraine's defense extends beyond the DTA acquisition. Recent arms provisions, such as F-16 fighter jets, and a substantial financial commitment for military aid underscore the Netherlands' role as the key ally in Ukraine's defense efforts. In addition, the coordinated 271 million euros ammunition order with Denmark to secure a steady supply of 155mm shells through 2025 reflects an understanding that sustained anterior operations will be essential to Ukraine's long-term resilience.